All right, let's talk what kind of pictures to take for your book and how many pictures to take for your book. First thing we want is as many different students represented in your book as possible. So I know it's your comfort zone to take pictures of your friends, and you totally should take pictures of your friends. However, try to get outside your comfort zone. Try to go up to groups of people in the lunch, in the halls. Check with your teachers first, but you can also take pictures in class if your teacher says it's okay. But go to people. Explain, like, I'm taking pictures for your book. Can I take your picture? Or take what's called candids, where, like, if you're in the classroom, maybe your teacher says it's okay, you just go around and take pictures of people doing stuff. You know, you don't know that that's a picture being taken. Now, it's very different. If you're taking pictures on your cell phone for your own thing, you're posting on social media, that's not okay to take pictures without people knowing them. But if you're in a class and you ask the teacher, can I take some pictures of what's going on in class, and you wander around just take some pictures, that's okay. So people can pose or don't have to be posing. Also, we always really need people to take pictures of athletics, which is tough for you guys in middle school because y'all don't drive yet. And typically, you're not allowed to stay between the time school ends and an athletic event starts. And so you do need to have someone pick you up or take the bus home and get back to school somehow. And I'll post announcements on Canvas about when athletic events are that you can come in and take pictures of. I know that's a little trickier. It's more fun of a friend also. But that's kind of how it works for athletics as well.